to know the motor channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Climbing west out of the resort town of Rimini on the Adriatic coast, the rough and narrow pavement twists and turns through the Apenny Mountains where vineyards and neat squares look pasted to the land like stamps on an envelope and columns of cypress trees point skywards in perfect rows. On riding the updated 2018 Ducati Monster 821, and it complements the timeless beauty of the place as much as its modern lines and verbal and 90 degree twin contrast the bucolic vistas. Italy, it seems to me, is a land of symmetry and disorder, a place where the new must contend with the old, and where the quaint and the majestic go hand in hand. In many ways, such is the case with the middle sibling of Ducati's monster lineup. The flagship Monster 1200 casts a long shadow, but where it can be brash and imposing, the 821 takes the ingredients that make the 1200 so enticing and present them in a more measured way. That includes the price, which at $11,995 is $3,000 less than the 1200. Introduced to the Monster lineup for 2015, the 821 cc's 11 degree Stastrata motor is unchanged for 2018, as is the chassis. It received the same body work as the 2017 Monster 1200, featuring a new headlight, a slimmer tank more reminiscent of the original M900, and a redesigned tail section. It also gets a full-color TFT dash, a top shelf piece that suggests this bike isn't merely made to a price point, but is an alternative to any rider looking for a sensory experience that isn't dominated by prodigious power and asphalt rippling torque. With a claimed 109 horsepower and 63 pounds FT of torque, virtually the same numbers as last year's model, in spite of a new Euro 4 compliant exhaust, the 821's quick revving motor pulls from down low with an exhilarating, front wheel lofting mid-range punch all the way up to peak horsepower at 9,250 rpm throttle response is excellent, and I didn't experience any jerkiness or drive a train lash, so riding through town was a pleasure regardless of riding mode, even if the Italian traffic was more chaotic than it is. In my small New York town, where rush hour lasts from about 5.0 to 5.15 and there are more tractors than cars. With the new bodywork, the 821's ergos have changed slightly. The slender tank made it easy to move around on the bike and the plush, rounded seat was comfortable all day. Wide bars set the rider somewhat forward, placing weight over the front wheel. Journalists of varying heights tended to agree that the rider triangle was roomy for such a physically compact machine. I only scraped hard parts once on the left side, the side stand, I think, so cornering clearance, at least for someone my weight, is mostly adequate on the road.